Over the last few years, I've made some videos where I compare and contrast different summer shorts from different brands. I have a ton of videos that are related to that, so I'll link those down below. But I thought in today's video, I would attempt to find something that I have yet to find the perfect match for. And that is a pair of denim summer shorts that are comfortable, feel broken in, nice and high-waisted, but also that don't chafe. Oh my god. Chafing is the absolute bane of my existence and my inner thighs, I think it's because of the fact that I have just incredibly sensitive skin, but they chafe so, so badly and it's like insanely painful for me. And the majority of denim shorts that I try on aren't long enough, at least in between the thigh. So they may go up a little bit on the sides or they may roll up a little bit or they may just be cutoffs and it's just never giving me enough fabric in between my legs to prevent chafing. So I thought that I would test out some very popular brands and see if they have any that meet my criteria that I'm looking for. I'm basically surrounded by pairs right now. I have Madewell, Levi's, Target, Old Navy, and American Eagle. And so I'm gonna try some of them because I really love the idea of the Bermuda short and the longer length short But I don't always particularly love the way it looks on me So I'm gonna try and find a happy medium like not too long But not too short to where it's gonna chafe me to death, you know So I'm just gonna go one by one try all of these on I'll link all of these down below if they're still available and let's jump in We have a lot of shorts to try on Prepare to see some sweat. All right, got my big pile of jean shorts here and you know how I can talk. So let's start right off the top and jump into it. This is all pretty random selection, by the way. I remember going online and searching like best denim summer shorts and some stuff came up, but it wasn't always exactly current. So I mostly just went on my favorite retailers and kind of the most common retailers that I see people buying from and just sort of picked what I felt like worked for what I was looking for. So first up we have Madewell. I picked out two different shorts. I sometimes picked three, sometimes picked one. It just sort of depended on what I was looking for and what I was curious about. So this first pair is called the Perfect Jean Short in the Hendrick Wash. These retail for $69.50, so pretty expensive. Madewell a lot of times though has really good sales, like 40% off, 30% off, sometimes 50 or 60% off. Always definitely search for coupon codes when you're looking for Madewell, but these are in a size 16 or a size 33 for Madewell, but Madewell does tend to run a little bit big. So I'm wondering if these are going to give me that sort of like oversized, slightly loose look that I'm going for. So we're just going to try them on. I'm going to take off my thrifted pair, which if this thrifted pair that cost me like $3 ends up being better than any of these, I'm going to be equally upset, but also pretty pleased because then I can return all of them. We'll see. So far, so good. They feel really nice. I'm going to be looking in the mirror sometimes. Just ignore that. Okay. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, wait, are we really starting off this amazing? Okay, that's the video. Goodbye, everybody. So here are my initial thoughts. The fit is amazing. Like, it's super, super high-rise. That's one of the criteria that I'm looking for. I want it to be high-rise. I want it to be comfortable. And I also don't really want to chafe, if possible. And I will say that this pair is honestly, like, pretty perfect when it comes to the fit. It's extremely high-waisted, like I could wear a bikini top or a bra or something with it and be completely fine. It covers everything I wanna cover. It's slightly loose, but again, it's like, I want that. I want that sort of baggier fit. Just going off of like being here in my house, I will say that these do have an inseam and they're a bit longer than other denim shorts that I've had from Madewell, as you can see, but they are a little bit chafy, only in this like lower part of my thigh. So I might have to do some sort of like anti-chafing method. I don't really have many that work, but if you're interested in seeing me test out some chafing hacks from the internet, I did those a couple years ago. I'll link them down below. When it comes to fit, I'm going to give them like a 10 out of 10. There's really nothing I would change at all. I feel like they look amazing. Like they're super cute. Exactly what I'm looking for. Love the wash. Love the cutoff. High rise, 10 out of 10 as well. But when it comes to the chafing part, chafing protection, if you will. I think I'm gonna go with like a seven or an eight out of 10. Let's go 7.5 out of 10 because I don't feel completely covered, but I also feel like there's definitely some protection there. This could just be me. I'm a very harsh critic. You may have different set of standards, but this is just kind of based off of my preferences. So we're off to a good start. I don't know. It's gonna be really hard to beat. Next up, we have this pair called the Relaxed Denim Shorts. They're still from Madewell. They are mid-rise, which I just now realized when reading this so that's annoying. I ordered these a few weeks ago so they're all kind of like new to me. I don't remember why I ordered these but probably because I wanted to offer some variety and I thought maybe I'm missing out. Maybe after all these years of me hating on mid-rise I'm actually gonna really love it and I just haven't found the right 
pair. But a lot of you love mid-rise, so we're gonna try it out. So these are size 32, and actually I ordered these because this is like my typical size in Madewell sometimes. When it comes to like things with stretch, or a lot of times if I order a size 33 in their sort of more vintage, non-stretchy jeans, after like 10 minutes, they fit a little bit too big, like they get stretched out. So I thought that these might be okay, so we'll see. So far, again, the fit is really good. It does have a button fly, which I know some people actually really love. So here's what I'll say. These shorts are amazing. I, this hurts to say. I love the wash and even honestly, like the mid rise, these sit extremely high rise on me. Like I'm very happy about that. I think because they're more relaxed, they're supposed to be a bit baggier, but I actually really love the way they look. So fit, I would say honestly, 10 out of 10. Like they fit amazingly. There's a gap in the back, but that means for this particular kind of shorts that I can like bend over, I can sit down, I can be comfortable. So I love that aspect of it. And honestly, I would consider these a high rise. So for the high rise, give them probably 10 out of 10 as well, like nine out of 10 maybe. The other ones were just a little bit higher, but for the chafing aspect of it, I can already tell that this would be a bad time. I unfortunately am gonna have to give it like a three or a four out of 10 for anti-chafing protection. Madewell really does have it down to a science with their jeans, but with the chafing, I just can't do it. They gotta go. Next for the pair that I am arguably the most apprehensive about and I have the most complicated feelings about is this pair because it is from Levi's. If you know, you know. Levi's is the most, the most, and I can say this with a little bit of confidence because I've been doing this for quite a few years now. I've tried on a lot of jeans, a lot of shorts, and Levi's by far, I would say, is the most confusing brand when it comes to sizing. It's the most inconsistent, it's the most unreliable. I feel like there are people who even have worked at Levi's who leave comments on my videos and are like, yeah, I don't even know what to tell customers when they come in other than just try them on. So I've had some really bad luck with Levi's. Uh, the only luck I've actually had is buying men's Levi's at the thrift store, but I, for some reason, can't stop going back and trying it again. So I tried this pair, and these are called the Levi's High Loose Shorts. It says that they're super high rise, and I ordered these in a size 34. Now I'm not gonna go into the entire history of me with Levi's, but basically I've tried a 32, a 33, a size 16 in the plus sizes, a size 14 in the plus sizes, and a bunch of different sizes in between and basically they're either way too big or literally they don't even go past my hips. So I'm curious about this size 34. I think this was the first size 34 I've ever been able to get my hands on. I'm gonna stop talking and just try them on. All right, Levi's, don't let me down. <laughs> Come on, I just want one pair of Levi's that works out. Just one. So here we go. I don't und- Levi's, what's good? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna make this entire video a diss track on Levi's, but I'm so very confused because I've tried on a pair of 33s, right? This is a 34. I've tried on a size down from this, and I'm just gonna insert a clip of what ha I couldn't get them on my body. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on. Are these right? Size 33. What? is happening. I don't understand. And these are like going up four sizes from that, but this is a size up from that. I don't get it. Let me also please be the one to remind you that it is not your body that is the problem. It is the jeans. Levi's needs to work on this with their therapist and figure out their shit. But they're just, so, I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe their jean sizing are different from their jean short sizing, but that seems weird. So not sure about that, but I'm gonna try to put my thoughts and feelings for Levi's aside and just kind of go based off of the criteria that I've mentioned so far. So fit, I'm gonna go with like five out of 10. Like they don't not fit, but they don't really fit either. The high rise is 10 out of 10, super, super high rise. Here's what they look like in the back. Like my butt looks very cute, but now I'm scared to return these for a 33 because we saw what happened last time, but maybe because they're relaxed, it's different. And then for the chafing, honestly, this is probably the best I've found so far. Like they're long, but they're not too long to where they kind of look like 
granny shorts, you know? And I'm fine with granny shorts. I'm trying them on in a minute. I'm sad because these are my favorite, but at the same time, they're the least fitted pair that I've tried on so far, so I don't know. It's very weird. They don't offer a ton of plus sizes, and then the ones they have don't fit great, so... I don't know. Next up we have a pair from American Eagle and this is the highest rise mom short and I thought maybe some mom shorts would be cute and fun. These are a size 16 which is my typical size in American Eagle and they have a stretchy waistband which I love and they do seem like a little bit longer. They're the most distressed of any of them that I've tried so far and this is a little bit of a darker wash so I thought these might be fun for some little ver variety. So we're gonna try them on. Let's see. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the thing. I do want to go on a quick rant. I'm sorry, it's me. I'm a talker, you know? We're, I'm a chatty Cathy. The thing that I found extremely frustrating about looking on American Eagle's website, particularly this year, is that most of their sizes in their denim shorts, like the newer summer denim shorts for this year, cut off at a size 14. So I can't even wear them. In most pairs that I wanted to try, I was really excited to try a bunch of these. I actually wasn't even able to order them because they didn't carry my size. And I know that happens to a lot of plus size people and that's just super unacceptable, especially because of the fact that American Eagle sort of like created this platform to be super size inclusive and they were one of the first sort of main mainstream mall brands, if you will, that extended their sizing up to, I believe, a 22 or 24 in their jeans. And then they started carrying sizes double zero to 24 in store. And now they've released a ton of summer shorts, like a ton of summer shorts. And the majority of them that I found cut it off at a 14. That's just not okay. Like that's just simply not okay. And I mean, me as the average size American woman can't even shop there. And the majority of people are plus size. <laughs> like the majority of people are plus size. So the fact that a couple years after being like we're all about inclusivity uh and like i mean i've worked with american eagle they've been one of my favorite brands of all time for years and i just have to say i'm super severely disappointed in this they've not said we're releasing more sizes later and i don't think they plan on it i think they were just sort of like sliding this one under the radar and hoping no one would notice but i'm just particularly disappointed. I decided to order these just to test them out and I kind of regret it. Like they are really good shorts, I'll, I'll say that. But being able to find a pair of shorts in a 16 was difficult and it shouldn't be. 16 is the average and also it, it's just not inclusive. Like you say you're so inclusive, so show it. Fit is like nine out of 10. They have a little bit of stretch to them, so that's great. The high rise is 10 out of 10, like genuinely amazing. American Eagle, does that. But with the chafing, I'd say probably like six or seven out of 10. Like I do feel a little bit of chafing, even though these do go pretty long. But yeah, it's just putting me, it's, I'm getting frustrated all over again. So American Eagle, please do better. Let's move on to the next pair. So next up we have one of the loves of my life, which is Target. We all know my love for Target. And I tried out this pair, which is called the Highest Rise Mom Shorts in a size 16. It's by Wild Fable. These are very affordable as well. And I love anything that says highest rise. And the more I'm looking at them, the more I'm realizing that the inseam is pretty much non-existent. So we'll see about that. I don't really know, but we're gonna figure this out together. What made me decide to order these I don't know okay Ooh, very stretchy that I'm noticing right off the bat but okay there's always a but I will say that this like cut straight across I don't feel that it looks particularly great I feel like something with a little bit more of like a shape to it looks better it kind of just looks like I'm wearing shorts that I cut from stretchy jeans if that makes sense so the rise is pretty good it's not the highest of the high which is weird because it says the highest rise if I really want to pull these up there's absolutely no protection for my thighs so then pulling them down to have maybe like an inch half an inch still doesn't really do much for the high rise probably like seven or eight out of ten and then for the chafing like two maybe one maybe zero next up for a pair of universal thread i had tried these out recently when i did a video in partnership with target which was just the best. And so I was like, I need to try more. I love the universal thread pair of jeans that I tried. So this is called the Vintage Stretch Midi Short. And I believe midi means like the way that it fits here, not like mid-rise. So I really like the button fly on these. It's very reminiscent of Madewell. These are a size 16. Okay, first things first, love the button fly. Again, I just, why did I wear this shirt today? Love the button fly. I think it looks really, really nice. These pockets are very tiny. It's another thing I just noticed, <laughs> side note. The fit overall is great. Like. 
9 out of 10, 9.5. The high rise isn't as high and I feel like I would be constantly trying to pull them up and then again running into that same issue where when I pull them up I have a lot less chafing protection. I know, hopefully I know, that a lot of you feel me when I'm talking about this and so that's why I wanted to make this video. Not only just to cover the fit and what it looks like but also how it feels. So just keep that in mind. It's not my favorite high rise. It just feels like I'm getting a major camel situation happening every time I pull it up. And then for the anti-chafing, like one. I'm definitely more protected than the last pair. There's more of an inseam there, but it's still, I mean, I'm just feeling it right away. When you add sweat into this, like I could literally shudder right now. <laughs> That's just my worst nightmare, so these gotta go. To finish off this experiment, since I'm sure some of you who have been watching this video up until this point are like, Carrie, you just need to order longer shorts. Like you have very strict criteria. You want this sort of like mini short look, but you don't wanna chafe, so order something longer. Well, I have a surprise for you. I've done that. I'm going to be honest, I do not love the look of Bermuda shorts. I've talked about this in the past. I just, it's not particularly my style, but a lot of you may be looking for it. And that's great. Wear whatever the hell you want. Wear what makes you feel comfortable. Don't listen to trends. Don't listen to what everyone else is doing. Just wear what makes you feel the most comfortable physically. And then also like, emotionally. So I decided to try these because I've got an open mind. I'm not afraid of trying things that, you know, aren't necessarily my style. So these are called the High Rise Bermuda Shorts by Wild Fable. I got these in a size 18. I think that was an accident or maybe I read reviews that said they ran small or something. Oh, okay. So we're gonna ignore the size because that's my bad. I accidentally ordered a size too big. I think my thought process was like, oh, these are like a more structured denim, so I should size up because Wild Fable is more of like a junior's brand. And these are big, so that's my bad. I'm not gonna take points off for them. <laughs> that's my fault for ordering a size up, but yeah, just word to the wise, order your normal size in these. But I'm just gonna say like, I don't really hate these that much. I kind of actually maybe sort of like them. Like my first thought in wearing these is with this type of top maybe and like some cute little pink ears, this is a Disneyland look for sure. You wouldn't have to worry about chafing all day. You could still wear shorts because you know, those hot Disney summer days. I like it. I honestly think I might exchange these. Like I'm not gonna lie. Maybe with some white sneakers. Like I kind of don't hate this moment. So fit, I'm gonna go like, eight out of 10, because it's not their fault. I definitely ordered the wrong size. High rise, I'm gonna go nine out of 10. Like it could be a little bit higher, but it's still pretty good. And then chafing, like none. We don't know her, we've never heard of her. I kind of get it now. I don't know, maybe I've been staring at these for too long, but like I'm kind of into them. Like I'm gonna go out on a limb here and be like, I like these. Once I get the right size, <laughs> It's over. It's over for y'all. And last but not least, speaking of like the full Bermuda, we are gonna go with a pair from Old Navy. These are called the Sky High Short. They're supposed to be extra high rise and they are very long. The only thing that sort of throws me off about these is compared to these Wild Fable, they're like, these are a lot more distressed. It's kind of a more modern wash. And then these sort of feel like the 80s. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but you might like them. So I ordered these in a size 16 and I don't know, I was like, I'm gonna give like an actual pair of Bermuda shorts a try and just see how I feel. Cause I mean, listen, I was kind of surprised by these. Who knows? Okay. Uh, well, I tried. It's a no. Please keep in mind that I am only speaking on my particular opinions. Your opinion can be totally different from mine and equally as valid. Like this is just my thoughts on this, on my particular body. The first thing I'm noticing though is like this, we're talking no chafing. Like I might as well be wearing jeans, but I'm not. So it's very, very protective there. The fit is great. Like if we're just judging off of the fit of these shorts, these are wonderful. I still have room in the back, which I'm actually like more into these days now that the more Gen Z sort of baggy jean trend is in. I'm into that. The less constriction, the better. So I like that. And then the high rise is probably like a nine out of 10 could be just a tad higher, especially if it's sky high. It's not, it's like barely covering my belly button, just saying. And then if the last pair was 10 out of 10 for chafing protection, then this is like 12 out of 10. Like you will never chafe in these a day in your life. It's like bike shorts, but jeans. I would be much more inclined to go with something like the last pair. It just feels a little bit more like ripped and modern, like I said, but these aren't bad at all. Like they're not bad, they're just not my particular style. So comfy, but not my fave. 
Whew, what a journey this has been. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Which were your favorites? Let me know in the comments below. As I mentioned before, everything will be linked down there in case you wanna check it out. But I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. I don't know if I found the perfect one, but I definitely found some that I really love. So let me know your thoughts. Love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.